Hi there, this is the first of a few little videos that I'm making to talk about tapping, EFT tapping in depth. Now, if you haven't tapped before, I'll put a link down below to a, um, a video that I have, which explains what it is, how you do it. It's very simple. Um, but these ones, we're going to go in depth a little bit. Um, my name is Jenny Clift. I'm a, an EFT uh, coach. And I work mainly with musicians, stage performers and artists, helping them to uh, clear what's getting in the way of their success, their wealth, their fame even, their, um, their joy and happiness in what they're doing. Um, today I wanted to talk about going in deep. This was um, a, uh, triggered by a session that I did this week. I was working with one of my clients and we were talking about uh, something that had happened, which on the surface seemed very, it was during a rehearsal, something had happened very kind of superficial, but then it really triggered a strong reaction. Mm -hmm. And if this is something that happens to you, and it does to most of us, then usually what, what it means is there's something in going on at a much deeper level. And that can be hard to access on your own because we have this kind of barrier, um, a protective barrier, um, which keeps us being able to function in life. Um, but working with someone else or with a series of questions or and, and really doing that in a work will be able to uncover and clear things at a much deeper level so that we then don't have these kind of inappropriate or unexpected reactions um, in our day to day lives. So what um, one thing with tapping, I find both with myself and with my clients, is that we really get in there fast. But often within in the first session working together, within 10 minutes, we've accessed something kind of deep and maybe you're even crying or um, really feeling the, the same kind of emotions. And that is, it can be a little bit scary, but uh, but. I have several ways of dealing with that, as do other EFT practitioners. The first advice I always give everyone is keep tapping, keep tapping. So what we're doing is we're tapping around these points. Now, remember, these points are key points. They're the end points of meridian and energy, the energy system. And they've been shown scientifically that what we're doing as we tap on these points is bring down stress bring down cortisol and it, it rewires your nervous system so you come out of fight or flight and you can come back to being able to think clearly um, so imagine you're feeling strong sadness the other day working with this client she was in floods of tears and I could see her getting more and more um, upset as we talked so okay so keep tapping and don't go into more thoughts what happens is our thoughts start to snowball and so what we just do is we come back to one word so maybe we would or two words we would say this sadness this sadness this sadness this deep sadness all this sadness all this sadness so I would do a round just like that all this sadness oh, and um, just go around, take a breath and see where you are. And then the next thing to do or is to connect that sadness up with a physical feeling. So we're kind of, again, getting out of our heads, which can cause a lot of trouble and getting down into our bodies. So maybe the sadness, when you think about it, it's in your heart, for example. So then, you know, and it's a, like a pain in my heart. So then I would do a round going around the points, this pain in my heart, this sadness in my heart, this deep sadness in my heart, this pain in my heart, all this sadness in my heart. I'm feeling so sad. I feel it in my heart, this sadness in my heart. So you see, and as you do it, as you say it out loud, you'll find that you start to come down. It starts to, oof, yeah, I'm coming back to the present moment. Um, the other things to do, and this is 
the kind of training we get as practitioners, there are what we call gentle techniques. So there are ways of doing this without going directly and being too, I'm fairly, I tend to go straight in there, but I'm also very aware when I work with people, how far can I go safely? Um, and bearing in mind that when I work, I work online. I'm not there with the person, so I can't kind of pat them on the back. But this, again, this tapping, you're kind of giving yourself that, um, physical coming back to yourself sensation a bit like if someone had their arm around you so you can do that care and we're doing it together so there's that kind of mirroring as well um, and there are other there's another one which we used in fact the other day I mean when we tap what we call the basic recipe we're just using these nine points we start on the side of the hand then we go around these points that I've been showing you um, there's also a full recipe, which is using um, eye movements, and it's even you hum out loud. And something I love working with um, musicians is, you know, if you hum, hum out loud with most people and you say, okay, you're tapping, you're tapping on this point here, hum out loud. Now, people dare I say normal people will normally go oh what do I have and say okay so hum happy birthday mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, something like that um but with singers oh my god I get a whole aria and I'm sitting here going oh this is nice I get a a little performance from you but um so we hum out loud we can you can also counting backwards out loud 10 9 these are all brain stuff eye movements connect different parts of your brain and it really helps to release the um the emotion the anxiety the the extreme reactions that we're having and one thing and this is why this is so useful for post-traumatic stress disorder is it it doesn't just work in the moment it then they've done lots of uh, studies that have seen six months later, when you think about this very same incident, maybe the memory that triggered all this emotion, it's still gone. There's still, it's disconnected that trigger. And so you can, you can go about your life without these intense emotional reactions. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, if you have any questions at all, please pop them in the chat or you can reach out to me as well. I'll put my contact details and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, I love this stuff. I think find it absolutely fascinating and also a really, really good tool. So um, enjoy that and um, I'll be and I'll continue with more information about this.